Okay then, so in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to set up RMG. I'm going to be going through controller configuration with you, video settings, and most importantly, I'm going to be showing you how to install HD custom texture packs. So if you want N64 games looking just as good as this one you can see right now, check this one out. <laughs> Okay, before I start today's Rosalys Mupin GUI and HD Custom Texture Pack Setup Guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide like this one today. And it also helps my channel out a lot. So after uploading my last video, which was another HD texture pack for the Sega Dreamcast, I thought let's actually do it N64. So after some research, I found a perfect emulator to be doing this. And this of course is Rosalys Mupa GUI emulator. So what we're gonna do first is actually download this and the link's gonna be in my description. And the version I'm gonna be using is the RMG Portable Windows 64. So if you just download this one, you're gonna end up downloading a zip folder, which I've already done. And I'm also going to be using two games for this. So I'm going to be using Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart 64. So you can grab the texture packs for both of these games. And the link's going to be in my description for these two. So what you need to do for the Super Mario 64 is just download either the 4K or the HD under cash just there. This is the HTS. Don't worry about the source PNGs. It's just going to be a 4K or HD under cache HTS. So I'm using the SM64 Reloaded HD for Super Mario 64. And if we go over to the Mario Kart 64, it's a similar situation here. So if we just scroll down, we're also going to download either the Mario Kart 64 HD 4K or just a regular one. And just like Mario 64, I'm using this one just here. So once you've downloaded everything, let's go back over to the desktop. So we've got our emulator to extract first. This is in a zip folder. Now we've got lots of folders inside of here and lots of files. So if I create a new folder on my desktop, right click, new folder. I'm gonna just call this folder N64 so it's easy to know what it is. And if I press Ctrl and A and drag everything into that N64 folder that I've just created, Okay, so once everything's been extracted into the N64 folder, what I'm going to do is just delete that zip folder, RMG that is. We no longer need that one. And what we're going to do next is go inside of that N64 folder, and we're actually going to just go into the emulator itself, which is rmg.exe, which is your executable. That's going to take us into Rosalys Mutant GUI. More info and run anyway. And once this has been opened, it's going to create us a new folder within that N64 folder. This is a cache folder. And let's just go back to Moopin itself. So we need to select a ROM directory. So on my desktop, I've got a games folder and two of my N64 games are within this folder. And here we go, Mario Kart 64.z or .z64 and Super Mario 64.z64 or .z64. So I need to link up Rosalys Mupin GUI with that games folder. So I'm going to go to select ROM directory. And before I go into that, it says just here which file extensions can be used. So we've got .n64, .z64 like I'm using or .v64. And we also got .zips too, so they're also accepted. So we're going to go to select ROM directory. And my games folder is on my desktop with my N64 games in it. If I just left click on that games folder, select folder, and here's my games. So what I'm going to do first of all is just set up my controller because this emulator itself doesn't automatically map out controller. So to do this, I'm going to go to settings, input, Input device, I'm going to just drop this down and I'm using my trusty Google Stadia controller for this. If I just select my controller, 
What I'm going to do next is just left click on digital pad and then press up on my D-pad and just continue mapping that controller out. Now your analog stick is of course the analog stick in the center just there, the official N64 controller. So I'm going to use my left analog stick for this one. And we've also got the start button. And of course your Z button is actually underneath the N64 controller, just beneath that analog stick just there. So whatever you feel, just map out the button to correspond to that one. And of course C buttons on the N64 controller are those yellow buttons just there. So yeah, very bizarre layout uh, Nintendo was doing at the time with this. And some people like this controller, some don't. I was a little bit mixed with what I felt at the time with uh, the N64 controller. And we've also got the L in R triggers at the top to map out to. Okay, what I'm going to do next then is just go down to OK and I'm going to start one of these games with no video settings or HD texture packs applied yet. So let's just open Mario Kart 64, just double left click. Enter, that'll take us into full screen. And as you can see, that's very choppy. So what we need to do is enable a different plugin. So if we go to settings at the top, we're gonna to go down to settings. And from here, we're gonna just go over to plugins and video plugin Glide N64 needs to be enabled for this to work. And if I go down to reality signal processor plugin, I'm gonna use the bottom one just here. So if I left click on that one and okay, Okay, so you can see now what the game looks like with default settings without no HD texture pack. So of course, I've just pressed the pause button just here for now, and we can actually go into full screen using Roseless Movement and GUI just by selecting full screen, or you can actually use Alt and Enter on your keyboard together, which will take you into full screen mode and exit you back to window mode. So what we're gonna do next then is actually take a look at HD textures. So what I'm gonna do is just come out of here and in my cache folder, I've got another cache folder. So this is where HD texture packs are gonna go. So I've got the Mario Kart 64 pack and this is what they look like. So I'm gonna just drag the .hts inside of here. Okay, so they're now in place, and what I'm going to do next then is just shut down out of this game. And we then need to apply some settings, so let's go to settings just here. And from settings, we're going to drop down to graphics. And from graphics, I'm going to go to texture enhancement. And just here, I'm going to just check use texture pack. Next up, I'm going to go to the emulation tab. And from here, I'm going to bump up multiple N64 resolution to around eight times to 10 times. Now, just bear in mind, if you've got a lower end potato computer, you might see a lot of lag. But yeah, let's just go to 10 times on this. 
Next thing I'm going to do is under 2D elements, I'm just going to go down for fixed flat lines between 2D elements or adjacent 2D elements. If I just enable this, and I'm going to now go over to the video tab, and I'm going to put aspect ratio to stretch, and I'm going to enable V-Sync, and I'm also going to go to anti-aliasing, and I'm going to bump this one up. So I'm going to use anti-aliasing FXAA, and I'm going to put this up to around four times. I'm also going to do the same with anastrophic filtering, so say four times on this one. And what both of these do is multi-sample anti-aliasing, it's just going to blur out rough edges. And anastrophic filtering is pretty much going to do the same type of thing. So once we've done this, we need to make sure to save. And then I'm going to just go to save and close. Now we've got everything ready. If I open up Mario Kart 64 again. And as you can see that looks absolutely stunning with the textures applied just there even the road itself it's got that definition going for it so next up i'm going to show you super mario 64 and just like this game it's mind-blowing hello And as you can see just there, it's ever so laggy, very slightly laggy that is. So what I'm going to do, whilst in game, I'm going to just go to settings, graphics, emulation, and I'm going to just drop down multiple of N64 resolution. If I just drop this down a couple and go back into the game. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do a quick save from here. So save state. And what I'm going to do is just take away those textures. So graphics, texture enhancement. If I just remove these, just to give you an idea how this game looked originally. So save and close. And back into the game.
So traditional N64 style, everything's blurry, the textures are very blurry, the mountain, the mud, the grass. So just by applying the HD texture again, by going to texture enhancement, use texture pack, save and close. And if I just load up that save state, And that's it for today's RMG HD texture setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide like this one today. And that helps my channel out a lot too. Also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And also be sure to check out my emulation enhancements playlist. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.